still to come on CNN Live today. It is soaring high, and it's not a bird. It's not a plane. It's incredible, though. It is a portrait of hope, a look at how this blimp is meant to inspire thousands of children across the country. Still to come, this is no ordinary blimp. It is a special airship full of dreams. The story of inspiration is coming up. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a family therapist. When I grow up, I want to be a superstar. Big hopes from little kids, all inspired by a display of dreams cast in red, blue, and green. A while back, you might remember, we told you about this colorful craft. Partly created by kids, it was part of a program to help them dream big. Well, now a new kaleidoscope of color is crisscrossing the country. The soaring dreams airship was also co-created, painted, and signed by kids. Ed Massey is founder of Portraits of Hope. He's in Los Angeles with more about the mission. Ed, good morning. Good morning, Darren. So you guys think big. A plane wasn't enough. You had to go for a blimp. <laughs> the larger the canvas, the better it is. <laughs> and that canvas filled by 5,000 different kids? Absolutely. We've worked with children from the southwest part of the United States in after-school programs, in schools, and in pediatric care units as well. So this is really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for all these children, the collaborative team effort with kids that may not actually get a chance to visit one another from Texas, from California, and all working together to accomplish really the unimaginable. And because all these different types of kids have different challenges, yet sometimes you have to come up with special types of paintbrushes and things like we're seeing right here. Absolutely. We've designed special brushes, the shoe brush which you just saw, which is designed for children who have no mobility, perhaps with their healthy painting hand. And we put mouth brushes with special fruit flavoring in their mouths. This way they can have a good taste as well. And telescope brushes that extend out to eight feet, almost like large hockey sticks for the kids to all be active participants. So they paint and sign, and then how did it transfer on to the blimp? After the kids all autographed their paintings, what we do is we had it in a hangar back in California where we had a special team of installers do the first of its kind application. They came in from Great Britain. There's nothing like this anywhere in the world. And each panel is overlapped one by one. It's almost piecemealing. It's truly a, a remarkable installation. And hopefully people all across the country, it's just starting its national tour right now. It's in Texas this morning. And hopefully you'll get an incredible chance to see it fly overhead uh, in the very near future. So if you see this thing fly overhead, now you know what it is. The other neat part of this is some of the children who painted, when it comes to their town, are they going to get to fly on the airship? Absolutely. There's children from different regions of, of the different states that participated that not only will get a chance, but also for anyone who, who uh, taps into SoaringDreams.org can actually see how they can also be, uh, uh, get a chance of a lifetime to actually fly on board as well. There's a competition and it's open to kids th throughout the country. And it, th this, this airship used to have a different pattern on it and we partnered with AmeriQuest and AmeriQuest has been incredible incredible partners to get the kids all involved in this a truly once in a lifetime opportunity. Now I bet anybody who's watching the segment right now has a big smile on their face. Besides that, what's the purpose of doing this? This gets kids actively engaged in thinking big. It's about dreaming big and going after your goals. All the kids, when we go into a facility, whether it's a pediatric care unit or into an after-school program, we, we ask the kids to think about their goals and that no hurdles are too large. And this is just one part of their whole learning experience growing up in later years to know that, you know what, they were part of a team effort. It's rare in life that a child can say that they were part of something that the whole world gets to see. Unless you're a famous architect and you can say you created that bridge, how often does a child get the, the chance to really say, hey, you know what, I did something that's going to affect millions of people, and hopefully, as you said, Darren, put a big smile on the face. So no matter what you're going through on a day-to-day -day, uh, uh, basis, if you have a tough day at school or at work, hopefully this will bring a big smile, and for all those kids, be part of something that's just huge. So you're in the business of making kids realize that dreams can come true. I'll tell you something, it has been fantastic and for these kids when they see it fly over their schoolyards or the after school programs or over those pediatric care units and this airship, this blimp will fly overhead, those kids will have a big smile on their face and it's just a great feeling for all the participants and for all of us as well. Well as you said there's a contest involved and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be inspired to find out how they can be a part of it. So once again the website with the schedule of where the blimp will be where is, there you go, there's the airship tour schedule and it's portraitsofhope.org. Very good. That's right. Ed Massey, I know the next thing is going to be bigger because you just keep getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> so you'll have to stop by when you dream up whatever that next thing is going to be. 
Okay, it's in the back of our head right now. Yeah, so we'll I bet be back. it is. Ed Massey, Portraits of Hope. Thank Thanks, you, Ed. Thank you so much.